what you need. You're going to want a small Tupperware container which is going to house the springtails. You needn't go out and buy anything special. One of the containers that you get like a chow mein from the chippy in will do just fine. Expanded clay pebbles. Now these are, are, have actually served the main purpose and are basically the only feature in the setup. So it is important that you get these right. They do come under quite a few names like Lekka or Hydra Balls, but anything will do just fine and you can get cheap stuff from the garden centre. Now pea gravel could work well for this and some people do use charcoal, but I'll talk about the merits of using this stuff over them when we get to what it's actually about. A starter culture of springtails which you can buy from a reptile shop. Um, what you're actually looking at now is the finished product that we're going to be setting up in this video and this is a culture that I have had going for quite a few months now. Lastly, you want some commercial springtail food. Um, you can actually make your own of this but it's easier just to buy it and it is quite cheap but you are going to need that of course to feed the springtails. How to set them up. Rinse your expanded clay pellets and add them to the Tupperware. The purpose of these is to generate a lot of surface area for the springtails to live on so that you can support a much larger colony than if you just add the bare Tupperware. Personally, I like to use these because they do absorb water and stay moist, which is good for the springtails and they do have a higher surface area to volume ratio than the alternatives such as charcoal. So all you want to do to seed your culture is transfer some of the substrate from the culture that you've already got, whether that's one you've bought or one that you've set up previously. You don't need particularly many from this culture because only a couple of springtails can breed relatively rapidly to start off a very strong culture. Maintenance. Springtails like it moist and so to keep them happy, spray them regularly with dechlorinated water. Make sure that you don't leave any standing water in the bottom of the container because otherwise you're just going to end up with a dead pool of springtails. You'll also want to feed them. Now I'm actually using some food from DMS Viveria but other powdered mixes like this are available and personally for cultures I do prefer these to pellet type foods because it's easier to measure out exactly how much you're giving them. To harvest your springtails all you've got to do is put like a sponge, um, fish tank filter sponge works the best for this because it's quite um, like broad spaces between the particles. Um, but all you need to do is leave that in the springtail setup, they will crawl through it and then you can leave the sponge in the setup and they'll crawl out. To be honest it's actually just easier to open the lid of the springtail culture and blow into it and all the springtails will land out into your reptile setup. And that's it. Culturing springtails can, is really cheap and it isn't difficult at all, so why not give it a go? It'll probably save you money if you're doing lots of bioactive setups, because rather than buying two pound pods of cultures all the time, you can just buy one, then a couple of supplies, and it'll keep you going for months. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, then subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in a video soon. Bye guys.